Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft from the Hermitcraft server. I'm going down Impulse's tunnel here. Well, I guess the tunnel doesn't belong to Impulse, but the word on the street has reached Impulse, and he has trapped a wandering trader for me. I hope it hasn't despawned yet. So, he trapped it in the nether. There was nobody in the nether to load it or unload. Oh, there it is. Oh, perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, I need to take screenshots of all the things that he has and then bring all of those things. It's right there, another screenshot there. And then another screenshot about here-ish. Should be good. Woo! He's still here. Oh, that's so good. Looks like he's made a friend. Let the purchasing begin. Okay, it was magenta. I thought it may have been purple, but it was magenta indeed. Look at all this wonderful stuff. All these now I think I have all these mini blocks already, but it's always good to have a surplus in case you run out. Okay, good stuff. Fantastic. Oh, I forgot the glow shrooms. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can come back for them. Uh I have horn coral. Any of this stuff important for me to have? Small drip leaf. I'll take two of those. <laughs> okay, glow shrooms. Oh man. Um I guess I'll take a trip. I only have three rockets left too. I guess I'll take a trip back. Did I call it glow shrooms? It's shroom light. Shroom light. I even brought a, a, gl a glow stone just in case I confuse. No, it is definitely shroom light. Okay, good. <sighs> Thank you, Impulse, for the mini block bounty. You are the best. And speaking of mini block bounties, if you need them, if you need these, take them. I'll take any left over. I don't know if I need any of these, but if I do, I definitely can add to my collection. All right, let me get organized here in terms of these guys. Where's the jungle wood? Jungle logs, I already had some. Uh, what else we got here? We got a little bit of a... I know I had shroom lights before. Are they in the very last one? They are. There's some shroom lights. We got this raw iron, which I already had. The gold goes here. I already had that. The loom, I already had. The cartography table, already had. The... Ooh, this lapis lazuli is new. That's good. That is good. Oh, I can add to my magenta collection, perhaps. Not magenta, sorry. Concrete collection with magenta. But it looks like I already had a lot of those. The lapis. Okay, I had lapis. I know I had obsidian already. Yep, it went up here. Emerald, I had. Okay. Red nether brick, I had. Yes. Nether gold, yes, I had that. Prismarine is up here. I had that as well. And that's it. Oh, the white concrete, which I already had some of as well. You can see how many times I've traded. I mean, white concrete alone, I've had um, five, six, six trades. Six times eight is four. Exactly. Let's go with six. That's four. Yeah, we're going to go with six. It, yeah, it is six. It is. Okay, anyways. <laughs> uh, I got to put this stuff back. The small drip leaf, maybe I'll use it as decoration in my store. Which we're going to start working on today. I can't say I'm going to finish it. We'll see where we get by the end of the episode. But we're definitely starting on the store today. Because I think I've come up with a with a pretty cool idea about um, how to decorate. Or how to dispense the cards, I should say. Let's go with that. Plants and saplings, that can go there. Yeah, how to dispense the cards. I think it's going to be interesting and you'll enjoy it. Nothing too crazy. You know, they're all they're all randomized anyways inside the packs and then the packs themselves will get randomized um, while I'm, when I'm putting everything in the machines. That's right. Machines. More on that later. Where can this go here? And concrete goes here. Perfect. Turns out I had almost all of them. The only one I didn't have is probably the most valuable one. The sleep deep slate, not sleep slate. Imagine sleep slate diamond ore. What would that look like? The Deep Slate Diamond Ore is the only one I didn't have, so we'll add that to the collection, which leaves not that many. We're doing pretty good. A lot of these I had, I didn't have too many of. Like, I only had eight of uh, a, a lot of these, actually, but I did have them. So, Cleo, thank you so much. You can take these back and keep them for your own collection, because I think you're doing the same. Maybe we should trade. Maybe you're not doing the same. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you can have them back, and I'm going to get back to work here. The infamous Hypno card has now been adjusted. You guys have suggested so many things, but I saw one that I really, really liked. In fact, I saw it multiple times. Multiple people suggested this, and I'm not sure why I didn't think of it. I think my brain is pretty fried at this point. <laughs> anyway, look. 
player can choose to attack AFK opposing hermits. If AFK hermit is attacked, Hypno must discard one item card. I was going to say user. Well, first I was going to say player, but then I don't want the, the hermits thinking, oh, player means the opposing hermit. Then I was going to say user, but I didn't want to confuse anyone. Well, who's the user? Does a, I mean, it's pretty obvious who the user is, but maybe not obvious enough. So I said Hypno must discard. Now, if the real life Hypno plays the game and he's on the other team... Maybe there'll be some confusion. <laughs> Joe Hills will be like, oh, it says Hypno must discard an item card, so go ahead, Hypno, discard it. Anyway, it's fixed, and now I think I'm finally ready to start making the player packs. Oh my gosh, guys. Let me just remind you guys real quick. By the way, lots of cool suggestions on the Reddit and stuff about this chart, making it easier to read. Um, it's funny. I've seen a lot of charts. There was only one that I thought made it easier to read. Most of them have been more complicated in my eyes than this is. I mean, this is pretty clear. Arrows pointing this way, arrows pointing that way. I will label it. I saw a suggestion about removing the glass and making it colored glass, like red here and green here. I think that's great. I'm actually going to do that. But um, the other charts that people have been making online, they just confuse me more. But I'm, I'm guessing that's some sort of uh, a psychological thing. Like the reason I made it like this is because this is simple to me. But this might not be simple to other people. So other people make designs that are simple to them, but that turns out to not be simple to me. So anyway, yeah, we'll uh, we'll worry about that later. Um, I'm glad you guys liked the weaknesses and strengths. I think it's going to add a little extra pizzazz. <laughs> Jazz hands. A little extra, it'll add a little extra um, strategy to the game. Okay, so we have the booster packs. They are done. We have the effect packs. They are done. We have the item packs. They are done. We do not have the hermit packs finished yet these are all empty and then of course the starter decks aren't finished either but these are going to be easy i'm just going to duplicate what i have over there there's going to be five different types of starter decks maybe i'll switch out items and uh, not items sorry effects and hermit cards in each deck but maybe i won't maybe i'll make them all exactly the same right because i don't want players going back to buy starter decks constantly just to fill out their collection i want them to sort well i guess they could anyway because there's going to be five different types of starter. J don't worry about it, guys. I'll handle it. In the meantime, let's get the Hermit set up for the Hermit Cards draw. But before we do that, we've got a visitor, a very important visitor. What you got in your inventory this time, buddy? Oh, this is a mini block extravaganza here. Magma, basalt, basalt. Um, oh, I do not have that. A block of netherite. I got to make, I got to make time to go mine some netherite. I do not have that. Okay, dang it. Um, End stone, brain coral. I think I have all this other stuff. This is good. It's too bad you don't sell netherite. <laughs> I mean, that'd be great, wouldn't it? All right, let me get that uh, done real quick. I have two shulker boxes ready for the packs. The the uh, the randomization, quote unquote, system is loaded um, with common four rows or four chests of common hermits, one rare chest. So this pack will contain four hermits, one rare, and then the ultra rares. This will be the only place you could get the ultra rares, and I'm only going to put one of each in circulation. That's right, one ultra rare of each. There's only three in circulation. I think that's going to be exciting for people to try and collect. Maybe I'll bring some more out later, but for now, I think I'm happy with that. Magma block. Boy, they look really organized. I always thought the one with the flag was the captain, though. I'm not sure. Either way, though, they look like they're ready to do some damage. Guys, guess what I did? You know, I'm never one to let a good opportunity go to waste. You'll notice that the Wandering Trader is now dead. Um, what I did with his head is put it in here. I'm not sure why I'm showing you, but there's 10 Wandering Trader heads in there. However, check this out. Check this out. I went mining. I could not let that Wandering Trader leave with that nether block unpurchased. Netherite block, I should say. And there it is. I went Mining in the nether, I found 36 netherites, smelting them all down, got some netherite blocks. By the way, if you hear some drilling in the background, I, I, there's a contractor working on our master bathroom, so I apologize if there's any sort of background noise happening. Anyway, okay, so now I'm finally ready, finally ready to start packaging these cards, and then I want to show you guys my vending machine-ish sort of way that I'll be selling the cards themselves. Ready for button push number one. Again, the first four will dispense common hermits. The next one will dispense a rare, and I'll get into the ultra rares, or I'll insert the ultra rare cards, three of them, later on into a random pack. The first one, we get a gem. 
a tango, a ren dog, a rare Joe Hills with time skip. That's a good one. And then a common green. So all different hermits for the first pack. This is exciting. I feel like if I was streaming, if I was a streamer, I would do like, I would just stream the packs being made because this is kind of cool. This rare green. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Who's going to get the rare hypno? I feel like that hypno is a good card to oh two common corrales in this one and then a rare east gal which is always double the that's a pretty powerful card too always double damage versus builder types take doesn't even take into account the the weaknesses you know not that his card is strong against builder anyway but we got a, a rare cleo Ooh, puppetry that's a good one let's do one more pack here are we going to get any doubles? Any doubles? Hey, it's a rare me. Beefy Tunes. That's going to be a valuable one to have to get rid of that poison and burn effect. All right. Let me go and uh, start, I guess, packaging all these cards. And I'll get back to you when I'm done. The packs are complete. All the hermits have been separated into packs. They are dispersed as follows. There was one pack with three greens in it. <laughs> that might be an interesting one for people to get. But now, for the moment of truth we have three ultra rare cards and i'm going to randomly place these cards in three random packs let's go with tfc going in that pack boom there it is you guys get a sneak preview it's got a it's got a rare jevin in there as well and you get an ultra rare tfc then me you know what i'm gonna go right here boom oh wait i said boom there we oh that's another one of me it's a common and an ultra rare of me and then there's two okay that's not bad either uh next one we have etho here we go he's gonna go right in the middle here oh how fitting two common ethos and an ultra rare etho in the same pack that's gonna be interesting i want to see who gets those i'm very excited about that i'm about to make the um the starter decks that won't take too long, and there will be no randomization needed, I don't think. Um, but let me just show you guys the sort of idea I have for the wonderful vending machine that I designed earlier in my test world. Oh, no, no, like this, okay. Like this, all right. Like that, and then, hold on, we, we're missing one thing here. Let's just grab it real quick. You guys are going to be so... Oh, no. What is lava? I gotta go. Yeah, let's get some of this. Okay. Some of that. Alrighty. And then we get a button that is that color to match everything. And there it is. That's it. You were expecting more? That's it. Just kidding. I have some tricks up my sleeve. First of all, let's put that on right there, okay? Boom. We're going to have the TCG logo on the vending machine. Then, my friends, oh, 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 you guys have no idea what's about to happen. Let me get some empty maps real quick. That is probably enough. All right? Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and duplicate this map that I made earlier. That's right. I made another map earlier. You will never believe you wouldn't believe it if I told you. Um, we are going to add a little something extra here. But in the meantime, we're going to do a little bit of magic here. Some map magic, if you will. Okay. Uh, looks like I'm missing a couple here. Oh, I guess I need to make a couple more. That's fine. You know what? Let's just bring the whole entire stack of maps. Look at how much cleaner that looks already. And we're going to go do this. And just double that up like so. All right, so we'll place that there, and then we'll do this and this, and look at our vending machine. Now, wait, before you think, that looks pretty good. It's not bad. Beefaroni, it's not bad. Well, my friends, I will also point out that I can do this. Slash trigger. Item frame invisible. Oh, look at that. It got smaller all of a sudden. Oh, look at that. Now the edges are kind of disappear. Okay, this one didn't work. There we go. Now the edges are kind of disappearing, aren't they? Look at these edges now. Huh? You guys will never be able to tell. Come on. Why is this one? Not? Sometimes the bottom ones don't work unless you're really like... There we go. Why is that one a different color? Oh, it's the lighting, isn't it? Yeah, it's the lighting. Okay, not that's not a big deal. We can, we can have it well lit so that it doesn't look weird like that. And let's get that one in there. Let's get that one in there. Including that one. And then that one, and then this one. And now, all of the edges have been... Oh, I really hate the fact that... The, maybe I'll put, like, 
a, a lantern here instead, instead of a block. Although it will show up on this side, which I did not want to happen. I wanted a nice clean... Maybe I'll just make sure there's some lights. Right? Yeah, look at that. It's well lit now. Let me go ahead and sleep. <laughs> because this could be dangerous. Doing this in the dark with an unprotected base. Look at this beautiful vending machine. I'm not even done. Got to add the top part. Which is just, I mean, I could do more maps on the top, but then you'd see the inside of the item frame, and I don't want that to happen. So we're just going to go with a nice little um, one of those guys. I could also do like cyan carpet. That might look good. But that is our vending machine, and it is going to work beautifully. I've already tested it. Not only will this be filled, but there's going to be a bunch of hoppers and some more droppers underneath each vending machine. There's going to be one vending machine per uh, type of pack. So there's going to be five total inside my little store. And every time you push the button... It's going to pop out a random pack of cards. I like it. I like it. What I do have to do is this one down here. I'm going to actually add like a little slot on the map itself to make it look like it's it's got a little dispensing thing now. And that's what I'll do right this second. I'm kind of designing the dispensy thing kind of off the top of my head here. I think this is going to look good. This is a black terracotta. It's slightly lighter than the dark, dark black wool. Now, the rest of it is... So, all this is going to be filled in with black terracotta. Originally, I had the, the black wool here, or black carpet, I should say. But it just looked a little bit too plain, you know? I mean, come on. Who's really going to look at the dispenser map on this on these vending machines and think, oh, that could have been designed better. Absolutely nobody. But I will, and I will know that it bothers me until the end of my days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to do a better job than just putting a big black rectangle in the middle of this thing. The exterior, the chrome, quote unquote, if you will, I made in a gray wool carpet, gray carpet. Um, but then, yeah, now I got to get a bunch of black of this stuff, and then the top half, I'm going to, well, I guess it's not really a half, but the top section here, everything from here to there is going to be black wool. So I might as well do that because I have a bunch of black wool on me at the moment. There we go. I think that turned out pretty good. What do you guys think? It actually looks like a little, uh, a little dispensing thingy. That's not bad. That's not bad. Now, if only I could figure out a way to insert, because it's map covered, right? I mean, you can't insert payment here. We're just going to have a separate chest for payment insertion. I could technically just have a hopper down here collecting payment, but I don't want, I don't want things to get a little too confusing. So we're just going to go with this. This looks fantastic. Also, you might be wondering, why do you have that glass in there? Well, my friends, because we have the ability to use armor stands, I'm going to have a bunch of sample cards in here. Probably three at the top, three at the bottom uh, of what this, I guess, e of what each vending machine has. So if this is like an item card vending machine, we're just going to have item cards. And then if it's a hermit vending machine, we'll have hermits and so on and so forth. So I think that's going to be really, really nice. I love that. That turned out really good, actually. I don't mind that at all. Fantastic. The things you can do with maps. You would think I'd be tired of maps by now, but apparently not. So I think I want the entrance to be on this side. Originally, I had the four entrances, but I'm changing it up a bit because I want to make sure that um, people people walk in this way, okay? So you walk in either this way or this way. And as you walk in, you see the vending machines kind of surrounding the back edge here. And then over here, I'm going to have my own little booth. Because originally, again, I wanted to actually man the shop. But because we have so many different hermits and so many different time zones, it's just not feasible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, have all of the machines. Now, one of them is actually going to be three wide. And I didn't account for that when I made my machine making kits. So I'm going to have to adjust. We'll leave that one for last. But in the meantime, we're going to do, I guess, the bot. Oh, where are my dispensers? Or droppers. I didn't bring the droppers. Well, looks like I'll be back soon. Do, 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 do. I'm just a customer walking into this store, and there are the placement of the five vending machines. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. And then I'll have my, um, my little area back here with maybe some collectibles on the wall or something like that. There will also be, like, decor decorative things, um... 
uh, in addition to these wonderful vending machines. But for now, I think that's pretty good. It occurred to me I could make the two buttons or the two blocks here. Instead of making them gray concrete, I can make them actual sea lanterns, and that would light things up. Might still do that, but for now, let's just go like this, and let's just get these guys all shaped up. I'll show you how it works afterwards. I don't know if this is a genius way to do this or not. You know, it's kind of, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know redstone, guys. Newsflash. <laughs> I'm not a redstone genius. Um, but I think the way I set it up will look kind of nice. But let's get all these guys over here. Work kind of nice, I should say. And now we're going to put the carpet on top, which I probably should have. That's okay. I, sh I, could, I could reach like this, right? Boop, 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 boop. Can I get up here? Hey, there we go. Ah, dang it. My mic kind of not in... Okay, there we go. That's better. <laughs> I didn't realize my mic was... I apologize if my voice was lower than normal. All right. So, this is it. These are our vending machines. Oh, boy, I'm excited. I love the background, by the way, for this one. I think I'll make the three wide one the starter kits, like the starting decks. I think that'll be kind of cool to have. Now, let's get, I guess can use well no I have, a, I have these all measured out so why not use the ones that I have measured out let's get all that out of my inventory was it five per one two three four it's only four per so we're gonna go ahead and do all of this like so oh this one won't even require any on the back so that's that's good too and we'll go like this make sure everything is covered up nice you know what let's just <laughs> doesn't matter it doesn't matter there they are in all their glory. Now, I did leave the top one here popped out just for a little extra detail because I think that looks good. I do not like the different shades of gray. I don't even know if that's coming through on YouTube, but that is driving me nuts. So I think what I'll do, I mean, technically, I could just put a torch. Uh, that's still a little bit different, isn't it? Oh, the torch in front seems to do the trick. I wonder if a sea lantern will even, I mean, I guess I could just put, lighting down here anyway but i wonder if the sea lanterns would look good on the inside here let's go and test that out real quick i hate that so the sea lantern definitely works uh to light up oh i have to do this beforehand huh i have to do this like this first and then do that i tried this i tried the glow item frame but it doesn't actually the glow item frame actually makes the map that's directly on it glow so i would have to make all of these glow item frames which is also an, a possibility and i'm thinking that might be the better option i just have to find a bunch of glow ink to be honest invisible did you go invisible because i don't like this line right here it's different than all the others i don't like the fact that only one of them is a sea lantern although that look, looks pretty cool inside there i'm not gonna lie i could do the top one like that as well so that's an option but um, you know what? I think I think I'm kind of I think I'm kind of brain drained for today in terms of uh, in terms of Minecraft options and stuff. Probably the glow ink is gonna be the best bet because then I don't have to change this block. It'll still look gray. It'll give off light on every single one, so everything will be nice and even. I just have to find a ridiculous number of glow ink sacks. I think it's ten per. So I have enough to do two more, two and a half more. So I, I mean, it's not a ridiculous number. I can go into the caves and find some glow squid. I think somebody might even be selling glow, glow ink somewhere. But anyway, this is it, guys. And that's going to be it for today's episode. In the next episode, most likely, I will finish the decor of this shop. I will load up. I'll show you how the uh, packs are going to be organized underneath the, um, not yeah, the packs organized underneath. It's pretty rudimentary. I'm sure you guys could probably think of a better way to do it because I'm not a redstone guy, but it's simple. It's simple enough that I get it, um, and that's what's most important. <laughs> um, so, yeah, in the next episode, we'll finish off this shop and then maybe start selling some packs. Maybe. I did want to get one more test match in, so I'm still waiting on someone not gonna say who anyway thank you guys so much for watching this episode i'm so excited about these these machines look great don't they oh and i'm gonna um uh identify them by either renaming the map here and it'll say hermitcraft tcg um item pack or something like that or just having floating floating text above 
the actual vending machines themselves that'll say item pack, hermit pack, starter deck, and all the booster pack, and etc. etc. So, yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Wait, 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 wait. Before we go, I wanted to show you what the vending machine looked like with the cards inside the display case. There it is. Maybe, maybe I'll mess the cards up a little bit more, but I kind of like that they're straight but not quite straight. You know, one is a little bit lower, one's a little bit higher. Um, I could have messed them up a little bit more, but I like the way this looks because there's like a natural shelf here. It looks like a shelf. It's not really a shelf, but it looks like one, and I think it looks great. Anyway, now I'm done. Okay, bye.